Hi, it's Malcolm, the developer of Tennis Swing Analyzer. This app runs on Wear OS watches and Android phones. As the name suggests, the app can help you analyze your tennis swing to identify shots, see your swing times and speeds, check your wrist and arm rotation and more. Today I'm going to show you the phone app, explain some basic concepts and run through how it works. So here's my Android phone and let me open the app. The home screen that you see here is the practice view and this shows the results of your last practice session. You can see how to record a practice session in my other videos. If you haven't recorded a practice session yet, it will say no data recorded. For this video, I'm showing the results from one of my own practice sessions. Just to recap, the Watch app records every shot played in the practice session, along with some key information such as swing time, swing speed, wrist and arm rotation and more. So this home screen shows a scrollable list of options for displaying the results of your practice session. Almost all of them are in the form of graphs. I'm not going to go through all of the options now, it would take too long, but I'll show you a few. Let's start with the text summary. So summary of practice results, text display. And this shows the, uh, the time and the date on which I, re I uh, recorded the practice session, my average and maximum heart rate uh, during the session. I played 341 shots. Uh, and then there's a breakdown by shot. So flat forehands, 72, uh, my swing time, average highest and lowest, swing speed, wrist rotation, arm rotation, and, and so on. Uh, top spin forehand, uh, slice forehand, not very many of those, flat backhand, topspin backhand, slice backhand, forehand volley and block, uh, backhand volley and block, uh, serve and smash. So um, you can uh, look at those at your leisure uh, when you record a practice session, but that's a, uh, that's a text summary of uh, everything that was played. The remaining options here are all uh, graphical and there are a lot of them as you can see if I if I scroll down here but let's uh, let's just take a few uh, so here's a pie chart uh, showing the breakdown of the 341 shots that uh, that I played uh, today earlier today uh, and you can see uh, the breakdown by individual shot type here. Um, here's a, uh, a bar chart showing the same information. The first bar is uh, forehands, so the different colors are flat, topspin and slice. And then backhands here, uh, forehand volleys, uh, backhand volleys and, uh, and serves. Uh, let's have a look further down here. Uh, the number, uh, let's look at swing time versus swing speed. So for the forehands that I hit, uh, it, the swing time in milliseconds is across the x-axis at the top. The, uh, the swing speed in kilometers per hour is up the, uh, the y-axis uh, on the left-hand side. Uh, and um, perhaps uh, let's just look at one of the backhands. Uh, let's look at uh, my backhand versus a speed target. I'll say more about that uh, a little bit later. But this shows the, um, the uh, speed target I had for my backhand was 72 kilometers per hour. Uh, the, uh, the graph uh, points in green are shots I hit above that target and in red below that target. Um, so there are, as I said, uh, a lot of uh, graphical options here. And the best thing is just to uh, have a browse, uh, see what is most interesting and useful to you uh, and, uh, and have some fun uh, looking, at the, uh, looking at the results. So uh, let's now take a look at what's in the main menu. Um, now, the practice view is the screen that we've just seen. 
Uh, if you've seen my video for the watch app, you'll know that there is an analyze mode where individual shots can be analyzed. So shot type, swing time, swing speed, and so on. As well as being displayed in the watch app, the information is also sent to the phone in real time. And if I tap on analyze view, uh, the data will be uh, will appear on this screen. Obviously, I'm, I'm not playing tennis at the moment, so uh, there's nothing to show. But if, for example, uh, my uh, tennis partner was wearing the watch and perhaps uh, uh, I am, um, I'm, the, I'm coaching him or her, uh, they can see the information on their watch and in real time I can see the same information uh, on, this, uh, on this screen on the, uh, on the phone. So that's, uh, that's quite useful. Uh, going back to the practice view and uh, looking at some of the further menu options, Export to, uh, export to CSV, comma, separated value file. Um, that is uh, the CSV option will export shot by shot details of your practice session to a file that can be opened in any spreadsheet program, for example, Google Sheets. So let me demonstrate that. If I select export to CSV, uh, Google Sheets is an option here. And you can see, I don't know if you can read this well, but for every single shot that I played, uh, all 341 of them, you can see all of the different information here uh, in spreadsheet form. I can sort this or analyze it uh, in any way that I want to. Now, uh, Manage Data Files shows me all of the practice sessions uh, that I've recorded uh, so far. Uh, from this screen, I can uh, select uh, one or more of them. Uh, I can delete any that are no longer of interest. Uh, if I if I tap use, then um, that session will be the uh, the one that's shown in the practice view on the uh, on the screen that we were looking at uh, earlier. So uh, that just uh, allows us to manage our data files. Now, compare is, uh, is interesting. It, it allows you to compare an individual shot characteristic between two sessions. So you might be working on a particular shot, let's say a, a flat backhand. Uh, you want to improve your, uh, your swing speed and uh, you can uh, see your progress over time or you can compare that shot to the same shot played by your tennis partner or coach. So for example, uh, this was my session today, uh, a doubles. I played a doubles uh, two days ago. If I compare flat backhands I hit today versus two days ago and look at the uh, swing speed as the shot characteristic, then I can see that uh, actually gives me the median values here between the two sessions. I hit the ball um, five kilometers per hour uh, harder today, uh, faster today uh, than, uh, than I did two days ago. Uh, and the, uh, the, the individual shots from the two sessions are shown in the, in the different colors. So that can be quite fun to, uh, to kind of keep track of your progress as, uh, as you uh, complete new uh, practice sessions. Now I mentioned uh, profiles in, uh, in passing um, and you can have uh, up to five profiles for separate players with this app. And by default, they're named profile one through profile five, but you can give more meaningful names to them here. So um, any name that you uh, that you enter on this screen, that gets sent to the watch. Uh, so uh, that helps you keep uh, separate uh, the data for uh, multiple people who might be interested in using the app. Now, uh, set targets. I might have a target to say increase my um, my service speed by ten percent. Um, this, uh, by default, will give me the most recent median values uh, from my current uh, practice session by uh, by shot type, uh, and it will auto populate 
the uh, the values, the median values here, uh, if I press the auto button at the bottom of the screen. And then I can override the uh, the any numbers individually. So I might decide that I want to have, so you can see, for example, uh, my flat forehand target speed is um, is 93.5. I might decide that I want to try to get that up to 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, I can just uh, override that value here. And then every time I play a practice session, I can check, did I hit the target with my forehand or, or didn't I in terms of uh, swing speed? Now, display options lets you set the, uh, the units for speed. Um, it can be kilometers per hour, miles per hour, or meters per second. Uh, the date format, European or, uh, or American. Um, it gives you the option to show extra information on rotation and elevation. Um, so by default, uh, that isn't shown. Um, but uh, if you want to see that extra information on your shots, please check out the documentation that explains how that works. Uh, and you can set that uh, set that option here. And finally, there's an option to keep the screen on um, and stop the um, stop the screen from sleeping while you're using the app. That can be useful if you're in analyze mode, for example, and you want to keep the screen alive while uh, while your uh, practice partner or your pupil is uh, is playing and has the watch on their wrist. Now. There's an option called wrist to racket ratio and um, when calculating your your swing speed the app makes an adjustment because your um, your racket head is further from your body and therefore traveling faster than your wrist so if you think of a children's roundabout it moves faster at the perimeter than it does at the center and this option there's some explanation here this helps you set the right adjustment factor based on your uh, your individual measurements. Uh, accuracy filters, they're beyond the the, uh, the scope of this video really, but it it help they help you to filter shots that might be outliers. And uh, if you check the documentation for the app, uh, then uh, you'll see some uh, further explanation as to how these these filters can be used. You can turn them on, you can turn them off, and then you can see the results immediately in the uh, in the graphs that we were uh, looking at earlier. And similarly, the advanced settings are, are also beyond the scope of this video. But again, please see the documentation for more information. Uh, it's it's pretty technical, but if you're uh, if you're interested, uh, then by all means have a look at the uh, the documentation uh, to understand how. Uh, how this all works. And speaking of documentation, uh, you can access the various guides that I've written directly from this menu. Uh, so you can see a quick start guide, uh, the complete user guide, uh, how the app can help me, understanding wrist and arm rotation, I mentioned that earlier, and also how uh, shots are analyzed, which is, which is uh, quite technical but might be, might be interesting to some folks. Uh, also, there are uh, the YouTube videos uh, here. You can access them directly from within the app. Uh, there's a, a video for the watch app, uh, this video for the phone app, and also a video that, uh, that shows everything in action on, uh, on a tennis court. So please check out those, uh, those videos. Uh, and, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so this has been a, a pretty quick run through of just some of the features in the phone app. Uh, but as I said earlier, please feel free to experiment with the various options and graphs and, uh, and have some fun. Now, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, do check out my other videos about Tennis Swing Analyzer for more information. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon.